Hey guys, I'm Rob and I'm here with Mike from Living Soil Solutions here in Calgary, Alberta. Mike is a soil expert and um, <clears throat> we're just heading out uh, this evening. We thought we'd do just a quick little video on talking a little bit about your garden or food forest soil and some metrics that you can use to determine whether it's healthy, whether it's sick, and then a couple of strategies with regards to what you might want to do um, if it is healthy or sick uh, in order to keep it healthy or to move it away from being sick towards being healthy. How's it going Mike? Good, good. Rob, yourself? Yeah, so you got a couple plants there. Tell me yeah. what, you, what you're seeing. So we've got some uh, some roots that we pulled up here so the one on my left the closest to your face we don't have a whole lot of um, soil or anything sticking to that root and then the one to the right as you can see there's a lot more soil sticking to that so as you had mentioned the the rastafarian kind of root growth going on there so what we're seeing is this is where we're starting to get some aggregation so our, our microbial populations our bacteria our fungi protozoa nematodes these guys now have the condos and like the malls per se to kind of hang out and and have that interaction with the roots so that's a really easy way to see if you've got something going on there if you don't have anything sticking like this guy then we need a little bit more work in there so what are the, what are some strategies people can do to kind of build the soil microbes up yeah, simple things is just uh, putting back in some good compost or some high quality castings, worm castings, or just something really simple is just doing like a compost tea or a compost extract. Cool. Now you go, you go around and spray a bunch of yards, hey? You're spraying our yard this year. Yeah, we're spraying your yard and we spray a bunch of people's yards and just keeping that microbial activity up and high so that they're constantly uh, working with those plants that people are trying to grow. Awesome. Any other advice? Any other advice? Well, because we haven't had a lot of moisture, if we kind of keep our soil covered as much as possible, then it's going to help keep any of that little bit of moisture that we've been getting in the soil where it belongs. Awesome. Thanks, Mike. If you want to check out uh, what Mike does and a little bit, get a bit more information about him, check out his website at livingsoil.ca. He also has a YouTube channel and some incredible videos on there, specifically Old MacDonald How to Farm. <laughs> Alright, make sure you subscribe below, check us out at vergepermaculture.ca and we'll see you on the next video.